we are going to make some spooky Halloween cocktails. And do some spooky Halloween trivia. We're gonna kick off our evening with the apple butter old fashioned. Apple butter jeans, old fashioned dreams. Fashion dreams. The whole club was and we're done. I love old fashioned so much. It's my favorite cocktail of all time. This is a twist on that. These are the ingredients that you need to make an apple butter old fashioned. Orange bitters, ginger beer, a cocktail shaker, not really an ingredient, but more like a tool. Lemon. Lemon. Apple. Apple, apple butter. Mmm. Apple cider. Whiskey bourbon, whiskey. bourbon, a cutting board, and a Mickey, uh, Mickey trick or treat. Basket. Need that. Need that. Most important. Most important. You also need a glass. We don't have a glass right now. Yeah, we'll do glasses later. We're just gonna chuck it right. We're gonna put it into this. Get the straw. Chuck it out of this. Did we get the two straws. Like it was a date night, you know. My chair's so squeaky. So spooky. Let's make a cocktail. But first, some trivia. Some trivia. Oh, oh. That's some trivia. Activia. Activia? Oh, that would, Transylvania mania would have been better. Or something like Transylvanian. Okay, take two. Time for some Halloween trivia. We want you to play along with us. So as Clay asks the questions, you can type your answers in the comment and click submit. So you answer real time at the end, we'll see if you got it right or wrong. Yeah! Okay, questions, let's All go. All right, question number one. In It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, who does Linus mistake for the Great Pumpkin? Lucy? I have no idea, but that's my guess, Lucy. Type your answer below, click submit. We have the answer to that question and all the rest of the questions coming up at the end of the video, so keep watching. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? A, 90,000 pounds. B, 800,000 pounds. C, 5 million pounds. Or D, 35 million pounds. What's your guess? Five million pounds? That's a lot of candy corn. <laughs> I don't like candy corn, so that sounds Me like a nightmare. Neither. Ooh, let us know what you think it is. What's your guess? You said five, five million. Okay. Did you submit your answer? Great. Back to the drinks. Woo! Let's get to making this cocktail. I don't know what this dance is, but I kind of like it. Just cutting the lemon in half. Clay, squeeze half of the lemon in here. So the juice from half of the lemon, a fourth a cup of apple cider. That's not very much. I'm getting. Oh, I love this lemon out. Of yeah. Cut it real quick. Pour the cup of apple cider. Is this gonna make one drink? Or yeah, this is one drink. It's for one, one cocktail. That is a lot of lemon juice for one cocktail. It is. Would you give me one tablespoon of the apple butter, please? Toss it in there. Yes. My hands are all slippery from the lemon. I loosened it. I will admit, when we were looking at the grocery store, I thought that apple butter was gonna be like a stick of butter. Really? But like apple, oh, that's funny. like infused or something. Like peanut butter. You say it like you've had it before. I just like dunk this in. One tablespoon of apple butter, two ounces of bourbon whiskey, a dash of orange bitters. What's a dash? Like a. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You grab your shaker, you shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Do a, do a dance. You strain your drink over the ice cube in the cup. Mmm. You top with a little ginger beer. Clay, all you. Top it off, a little fizz. That was great, well done. Liver of an apple. And garnish with an apple. And there we have our apple bottom jean. <laughs> There we have our apple butter old fashioned. It only makes one though because Clay doesn't really like whiskey, so I'm just gonna cheers I'll try you. It. I'll cheers you. We'll go for it. Good. So good. Like you said, I don't like whiskey, but that's good. Drink number one. Check. And more trivia. What were originally used as the first jack o' lanterns? Is this multiple choice? It's not multiple choice. I have a guess, but type your answer below. My guess would be a gourd. Uh, a gorgeous. Which holiday season gets the most candy sales? Is it A, Halloween, or B, Valentine's Day? The candy, Valent, uh, no, Halloween. We'll find out. Now back to the drinks. What's next, Clay? The Haunted Orchard Cocktail. Sounds so ghostly. What do you need for the drink? You need tequila, apple cider, ginger beer that we're using the same ginger beer that we did two seconds ago some cinnamon optional he's allergic to cinnamon so i'm gonna use it on mine but you don't have to 
uh, also some ginger. Uh, the recipe we found calls for grated ginger. Grated ginger. This is ground ginger, so we're just going to use an eighth of the amount. Yeah, it's like super, super, like a dash of it. We have the other half of our lemon that we are going to squeeze in, mm -hmm. and an apple slice. A garnish. And we have some fun margarita glasses because it's tequila, so. Yeah, lemon and margarita dreams, our ghostly margarita dreams. Yeah, we're going to use one shot glass worth of tequila. That's one and a half ounces. Click, 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 click. A fourth of a cup of apple cider. Yum. A little bit more. A little bit. Fourth of a cup. And get this fresh squeezed lemon juice. My eye! <laughs> One ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Yum. Yummy. Sugary. Five ounces of ginger beer. Ooh, yummy. It's closer to six. Five and some fizz, you know? Are we supposed to shake that? It's fizzy. A dash of ground ginger. I can already feel that like it's gonna burn the back of my throat. <laughs> shake her up, Clay. I'm just gonna mix it. It's fizzy. I don't I feel like I'm not supposed to shake a fizzy drink. Do you want ice in it? Oh yeah, see. Oh, top of our cider. Okay, so we made one mistake. We forgot the ginger beer goes in when you top it, drink at the very end. So don't put the ginger beer in before you shake it. That was very silly of us. So- Silly of you, I knew. Who shook it? You! So now's when you top it with a ginger beer. Yes, that was great. It's literally like the perfect amount. Because we're amazing. So Chris is gonna try it first, because it also calls for cinnamon, but he's allergic to cinnamon. So he's gonna try it, and then I'm gonna add a dash of cinnamon. That's so good. The ginger tastes great. Oh, that's delicious. That just tastes like fall. Yeah, that's really good. I'm like gonna finish my old fashioned, but I'm also gonna have one of these. Some trivia. Oh. How many colors of M&Ms are there in a normal bag? My guess is five. Um, I feel semi-confident. If I were typing it, I would type in five. If you watch our vlog where we made some easy Halloween treats, you'll see of the different colors and how there's only a couple of green. Um, That's a fun video. Check that one out if yeah. you haven't watched it yet. We teach you how to make five yummy Halloween snacks. But make sure you type your guess in right now. My turn to guess. Which famous magician died on Halloween? Was it A, David Copperfield, B, Harry Houdini, or C, the great Lafayette? Lafayette. Um, I mean, I think David Copperfield is still alive, isn't he? I have no idea. So I'm gonna say Houdini, because I don't know. Type your answer and let us know what you think. For our final cocktail of the day, we have a pomegranate cider mimosa with caramel rim. Caramel rim. You're going to use some caramel sauce, either melt some caramel or caramel. Caramel? Caramel. Or you can get some syrup, that would be great for uh, ice cream, things like that. And you're gonna rim your glasses. Clay, are you gonna pop the champagne for us? Maybe. Clay's not usually a champagne person, but today, all bets are off. Oh. Party! Yes. <laughs> this cocktail's so simple, there's only four steps. You rim your glass. You put a little pomegranate juice in the bottom of each glass, about an ounce. Measure. I'm gonna eyeball it. All right, some pomegranate juice. And then we do a, an ounce of... Apple cider. Apple cider. Mm -hmm. That's too much, but that's okay. A little more than that, you get more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you top the champagne. Oh, and all, all, all. that's how you hold a champagne bottle. Oh my god. Just hold it from the bottom. Put your napkin on the arm. Tip. Oh. Well, thank god you did that, because it's going to be different. You're welcome. Is the rest of the glass broken? And then you cheers. Is that step four? Yeah. Well, no, step, step one was the rim of the glass. Then there's pomegranate juice, cider, and champagne. That's four. I can't do that with my finger, but it's right there. So fifth step, I guess. There are five steps. The fifth one is cheersing. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate champagne. But the syrup is good, or the caramel. I think we put a little too much pomegranate juice, so next time we'll do a little less. That's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not a champagne person, so that's not for me. But I love if it. you like champagne, that's so good. really good. All right, it's time for some Halloween trivia answers. Are you ready? Ooh, yes. In It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, who does Linus mistake for the Great Pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Snoopy. 
He's a pretty great dog though. That makes sure sense. Is. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? The answer is D, 35 million pounds. Ew. That is about nine billion candy corn pieces. How many colors of M&Ms are there in a normal bag? My guess was five, was I right? Six. Six. Darn it, I was close. What were originally used as the first jack-o'-lanterns? It is not a gourd. The answer is turnips. What? I know, I don't know. I don't know. How? Which holiday season gets the most candy sales? Was it Halloween or Valentine's Day? It Halloween? was a Halloween. Yes. Nice job. Which famous magician died on Halloween day? The answer was B, Harry Houdini. I was right. Fun fact, David Copperfield is still alive. And C, the great Lafayette was friends with Harry Houdini and he died during a magic act. Oh. Thank you so much for making some spooky Halloween cocktails, as well as playing some Halloween trivia with us tonight, or today, whenever you're watching this. If you like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe. We have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Which one was your favorite? Uh, I think the tequila one. Yeah, yeah, I like the apple bottom, what did you call it? The apple, apple bottom. bottom jeans. Apple butter old fashioned. Well, let's do one final cheers. This one's for the ghostly friend. Happy Halloween. And ghost host. Happy Halloween. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween.